Hi everyone, it's Roger here, FarmDizKingdom.com. And as you can see here, I have got Disney Infinity 3.0 on my iOS device. I'm on an iPad mini. It's also available on Amazon and also on Android devices. So this is a sort of a, it, I say it's a cut down version. The only thing that's really cut down is the, there's no play sets. You get all your different adventures. So you get the starting point, you get the the hub, you get the interiors, you get Toy Box Takeover and Speed Road becoming later. You get to access all your toy boxes and create new ones. You can access community content. You can also have a few a look at all your different collections. So you've got all the different Disney characters. And you also have um, the different Marvel characters and Star Wars, etc. And you also have power discs. Though anything that you buy, the power discs are the only things that don't transfer over. So let's just um, show off. First off, let's just have a look here. I'm going to do an easy daily challenge. So the daily challenge is something that is unique to the iOS and sort of Android and Amazon version. You can't get this on the console. But now I have been finding like with the sort of the the app version, it doesn't look as nice as it might do on the console. It's a little bit laggy. It takes a little bit to get used to the controls, but generally it's a lot of fun. Uh, it's a shame that we don't get, sort of get to see this in, so for example, this daily challenge in the console version, but that's something completely different. Um, all, I also found all my toys that I unlocked on my sort of PS4 actually got um, unlocked on here through my Disney ID, which is great because that's really saved a lot of time and effort, like putting in codes and stuff. So as you can see here, we've got the, um, the controls on the screen, so you can jump. You can fire and you can also bounce. Now, obviously, this is a daily chance, so you're at a slightly different angle. So you jump up here. Let's see what we've got to do. So I'll just try jumping for it. And here we go. Try and take care of these guys first. Oh, we've got loads of enemies. So this, I'm only a level one Mickey Mouse, so this is where I could have some problems. Whoop. So, whoop. I just leveled up. Whoop. What's going on there? I want to go back. Return to the main. I didn't. Whoop. Well, and I'm out. So I don't entirely be sure there. I think I died and then I didn't pick another level character. So I've been sent back to the beginning. Okay. Okay. Let's now go into the toy box. So I'm not going to show you a basic toy box. So I'm going to kick off with an empty one. Now I have found when I have been building in the toy box, it's a great way to start a toy box, you know, putting down all your basic tracks, putting down a few bits and pieces. However, I have found in the past that it can cause some problems with trying to do too much. The level that you can build a toy box is a lot smaller on the iOS version than you might find on the other ones. So it's slightly bit annoying. But in generally, I think you'll find it to be quite cool just to try it in and get a look at it. You're not going to be able to create major masterpieces because, frankly, it's not up to it. Um, but it's still a lot of fun. It's what really does kind of one of my little bugs with the 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 mobile version is I kind of feel like you know I can have this for free on my iPad, but yet I had to pay for the digital version on my console. So it would have been nice to have seen this maybe free on console devices because really, in all honesty, everyone can get in here and have a good old play. All your previous, um, if you put any web codes in, you will be able to pop them in here. So if you do buy the actual physical figures, you can do it. It's quite nice as an expansion of people that have already got the game to maybe play play a little bit on the go but if you haven't even got a console you haven't brought the game you can really get in here and have a good sort of play around you really do get a lot you get that the hub so if I now bring up you get all the different toys so these are all the toys I've unlocked in the previous versions in my pit on the PlayStation 4 so let's just chuck down you know I can chuck down the Millennium Falcon and let's just literally let's pop down a few things so I've got some droids here some sidekicks. You can also do all your farming, which I know a lot of people are really excited about doing farming. There's all the different towns, people. So there's lots and lots of toys, and I do wonder if you know there's almost like there's too much for the um, iOS version to do. So you've got all the different templates. I've got your creative toys, so they're all in here that you can use, and it is pretty cool to use. But I just thought I'd just show off a little bit here. So here we've got all my toys from the from the first one from the first game and you can see here automatically brought in my magic band and also brought in some new toys from like the Star Wars 
Now you can see here, now I've only literally just popped down about three or four toys and already my um, meter is sort of at full. So if I put down a few more bits and pieces like this, you can really see how those, but oh, you really, sort of, I'm going to have to zoom out a little bit. So if I literally just pop in a load of buildings, I did notice this is one thing that um, obviously I'm just chucking a load of random ones at the minute. They don't really make a lot of sense, but already um, that meter is already halfway to the top, which um, is kind of, it could be an issue if you're trying to do a lot of building. So you can see here, um, if I bring that up again, you can, you know, if you place that down on the PlayStation, you probably would only be a little bit up. But that network play is really going to be an issue there. And you can see here you've got some other options you can buy from the inside out, etc. And as I said, I've already unlocked a lot of this stuff from the PC or from a PlayStation 4 version. So it's definitely an added bonus. I think it's for me, I like I said, I'm going to be using this a little bit kind of to start my toy boxes off. Kind of put down a few bits and pieces and maybe test them out a little bit on another device. But there we go, that is a toy box. We've also got the hub, which I'm going to do in a separate video. But anyway, guys, I'd love to know your thoughts on it. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. Remember to check us out at DizKingdom.com. And I'll see you guys in a later video. Laters, guys.